guys, it's me. It's Easter Sunday and Saturday 26 for me. It's still a little early. I got my positive um, ovulation test. Cycle day 14, 15, and 16. 16, I got crystals on my microscope. And I got, um, my cervix was open. So I know I was still ovulating then. So I don't know when it actually happened, which you never do know. You know, like when the egg actually comes down. So, anyways, it could have been another day or two after that. So I could be like 8 DPO. I don't know. Or 10 DPO. Who knows? Anyways, I'm Psycho Day 26. Um, I got to talk to my doctor on Friday. I had a doctor's appointment. And that big thing that I saw on the ultrasound, which I, I had thought maybe that was, you know, maybe it was this. And, and sure enough, it was just a giant egg. It was almost four centimeters, dude. I've never seen one that big. And she said my progesterone on cycle day 21 was 25, and they want it to be at least 10. And uh, if you're on fertility medicines, they want it to be 15. Well, mine was 25, so that means I ovulated again, which I'm excited about. I haven't really had any bad um, symptoms from Clomid. Unless, um, I've been really emotional, like, Thursday night, I was crying over every little thing. Um, it's either from Clomid, or I'm pregnant. I hope it's I'm pregnant, but, you know. Um, yeah, the doctor, I told her about that, and I've been wanting spicy food and all that. And she, I've still been wanting spicy food. But... Sorry guys, I just flipped it. She's like, well, it could just be the Clomid playing with your hormones, or you could be pregnant, so, I don't know. Today I took a first response, a little cheapy, and one of those pink Dollar Tree tests, because that's what I had left. I need to go get some more tests, because now it's getting to the testing days, yay! So, anyways, I'm going to look at the strip. Didn't figure there'd be anything on that or the pink one because it's early. I don't suspect it much. So, here we go. I see a squinter second line on this. You probably won't be able to see it. I'm sure you won't. These are not the best for early pregnancy test. But that's what I had, so that's what I used. Now the first response. Oh, I don't even want to look. Man. Before I look at it. I was supposed to dip it 5 seconds. And I couldn't remember how long. So I dipped it 15. So. I probably already messed up this test. So it's probably. I don't know if that will really mess it up. But I did it 10 seconds too long. So. We'll see.
is not good in here. I think I see one. A second one. A little, like, really, really light. I'm sure you can't see it because your lighting is worse than mine. Sorry, I'm shaking. I don't know. Now there's definitely a second line. I can see it even better now. What the heck? Yeah, you can't see that on there. Man. I know you can't see it. It's way too dark. Well, I will test again tomorrow and see if that shows up again or if it gets darker. I'm not going to get excited until it gets darker because I've got these faint lines before and then I end up not being pregnant so or losing it, whatever. Like, that's always my luck, so I'm not going to believe it until I see it, I guess you could say. So, I will wait, and I will test again. Thank y'all for watching.